Hello and Assalamu alaikum everyone. This uh, video of mine is meant for those who share the same interest uh, with me, especially the guys, all those guys in the Endless Sphere website uh, who time and again have appreciated my work. This is my very low cost electric bike from Pakistan Peshawar. I have modified the previous version and as you could see here, this one is the old setup that I removed from the back side over here and now I have replaced it with another um, project of mine that I was working on. This one uh, is a CVT like setup as I mentioned in my earlier video uh, by using the gears and chains I could just see as you could see. This one's working now. It is not a final stop at the moment, but I'm working on it. As I completed my fitting and testing, I was really very much desperate to share it with all of you people who are out there appreciating my work and who could benefit from what I'm doing at the moment. It's not meant for a single person, for a single cost or a single nation. It is for the rest of the world, and I really like doing experiments which could benefit the entire human race. This is my very low cost uh, electric bike. You must have seen my previous video. And this one's uh, at the moment more efficient than the last version. The last setup was not that much efficient. In the last setup, the problem that was confronted to me was that it was breaking the rear chain here. The chain, the, the size of the chain that I was using was very small and a very uh, small one which was not able to take the loads, the, the, the hard loads that electric bike has to take. Uh, because of uh, weight of these batteries, that, as you could see these are SLAs laying here, 12 volt, 12 AH each. I was using four of them. At that time, that weigh, each battery weighs about 7.5 kilograms, approximately. Now, this one is uh, uh, not final, as I mentioned earlier. This one is under uh, uh, further. There's a lot of work in it. It's just, uh, uh, just a testing version. I would just like to show you how it works. The electric motor is running. It's running this gear. And then this one, it has a derailleur over here. This derailleur, in coordination with this, helps to derail the front chain, as you could see. I'll show you practically now. I hope I'll be able to manage all this because I have only one hand to work with it. Now you could see the chain is derailing on this one, the smallest gear, this one at the larger gear. I hope I do not hurt my hands while doing it because my total concentration is toward the camera. Now see the, the gears, they change. Switch from one gear to the other gear. The same goes on over the front derailleur as you could see. I hope you will be able to see. The front derailleur is also working. And now it's changing. See? Now it's on a smaller gear. As a precautionary measure, I am using just the second last gear over here and the second last gear over here so that it uh, to be on the safe side because the motor is very powerful and it could snap the chain any moment if it if it it is not successful in derailing it could really snap it and i really don't want such a thing to happen you can see here the motor is running this gear on the other side of this shop is this uh, uh, the, the cassette, it has seven gears. It is completely fixed as you could see as I move it. There is no freewheel concept in this here. In this one, in this cassette, there is no freewheel. Okay? Here we have a freewheel. This one can work in one direction. Over here, this one is not a freewheel. But here, this one is a freewheel in order that if the power could be cut off when the wheel is running. Along with that, we also have, I have done this uh, modification to the uh, seven uh, cassette, uh, seven gear cassette here. The last uh, gear is uh, sacrificed and it has been welded to the uh, bigger gear over here. 
to get the approximate uh, uh, RPM that I want at the rear wheel. Here is it is being supported, and it comes over here. This one's not a preview. As you, if I let me just move it to show that it's not a free wheel. It's moving, but at the rear there is a free wheel. So here it is. It's working, and I'm sure that this will be uh, better than before. This version is going to be better, a lot better than the last one, because as I mentioned earlier, the last one was snapping the chain at the rear wheel. The sports chain, which is very small one, which is very lean, a very small chain, that was breaking off most of the time. This one eliminates that problem, and uh, I'm sure that that's going to be one hell lot of uh, performing bike. Thank you very much. This is Naeem uh, from Peshawar, Pakistan. Thank you.